South Haven could become the first city in West Michigan to mm -hmm. restart a lifeguard program. City leaders ended it more than 20 years ago. Yeah, we've been following this for a while now. Our David Horick is live in our newsroom with what the city council will hear today that could advance efforts to bring the lifeguards back. Good morning, David. Good morning, Teresa and Donovan. It's been a major debate topic that was further exacerbated when two Michigan swimmers, 22-year-old Corey Ernster and 19-year-old Emily McDonald, drowned in Lake Michigan off of South Beach in August of 2022. Now, at the time, yellow flags were flying when the two went into the water, but red flags were raised later in the day. Families of those two are suing the city in federal court on claims of negligence and argue that they violated the pair's rights. The suit argues that the city should have known how dangerous the lake conditions were that day and that the yellow flag did not adequately warn beachgoers of this danger. All of this without lifeguards, which the city has not seen along the shoreline in more than 20 years. So tonight, South Haven City Council members will be given a presentation on a proposed three-year, three-phase plan to implement life lifeguards. On your screen here is a a simplified outline of it. Beginning this year in 2024, the focus would be on basic training. Phase two in 2025 will em would emphasize recruiting and having lifeguards hired by Memorial Day, establishing a junior lifeguard program as well, and review any necessary improvements, plus applying for certification through the United States Life Saving Association, or USLA. Third and final phase in 2026 would look to expand lifeguard training and help other lakeshore municipalities in this way. Now, keep in mind, it is just a presentation to which no motions to formally adopt the program are on the agenda for tonight. However, it is asking city council members to review this presentation and consider it as a priority for the next fiscal year. Again, that meeting is scheduled to start tonight, 7 o'clock.